Okay, we're going to answer the question, what does it look like to fly through the vessels, chambers, and valves of the heart if you were a red blood cell? Hello, everyone. My name is Dr. Morton, and I'm the noted anatomist. Big shout out to Anatomage for the use of these wonderful images. Okay, here we are as a red blood cell flowing from the superior vena cava into the right atrium. The bottom left picture is the legend and that green horizontal line showing when we're descending or ascending. And as we descend down into that right atrium on the left, you see the opening of the IVC. And on the right, there's the tricuspid valve. We go from right atrium down into right ventricle and there's the trabeculate carne of the right ventricle. Now we're gonna do a U-turn and look up. There's the pulmonary valve and let's traverse that and enter the pulmonary pulmonary trunk and look the left and right pulmonary arteries. Let's go in the left pulmonary artery. We're blue right now because it's deoxygenated blood until we go through the pulmonary capillaries and then shing, we become oxygenated. And that's the pulmonary veins going into now the left atrium. And we'll look right across on the other side. Those are the openings of the other pulmonary veins from the other lung. We go down and that white is showing the rim of our mitral valve going into now the left ventricle. Look at all the trabeculae carne. Let's do a U-turn. And there's the aortic valve. Let's go through the aortic valve. We're now in the ascending aorta, going into the ascending aorta to the aortic arch with the brachiocephalic trunk, left common carotid and left subclavian artery openings. Going down now through the descending aorta into the thoracic aorta and those openings on the wall that we can see, those openings right there are of posterior intercostal artery supplying the posterior thoracic and abdominal wall. Oh, and we're now going down the descending aorta, going to become the abdomen. How cool is that?